Hello friends, welcome to YouTube, Stackvisto. So in this video, we are going to learn about the control structures. So we have following conditional statements available in JavaScript, if, if else, if, as if, switch statement, ternary operator. Talking about loops in JavaScript, we have while, do while, for, for or for in. Okay, so let's get back to the code and try to execute each of them. If statement in JavaScript is kind of similar to other languages like C or C++ Java, where we start with the keyword if and then we have a text expression here, which should be a Boolean value. That is, whatever expression you write, it should eventually results to true or false. So we have some conditional statement here. And then we have the body of this if statement. So if the condition is true, this part of the code will execute. So let's define a variable. So if x is greater than 10, we're going to print a message to the console saying, yes, it is true. Let's execute the program. So you can see there is nothing in the console because x is not greater than 10 x is actually equal to 10. So if you use greater than or equal to 10, now this text expression results to true. The text expression in JavaScript can also input the numeric value where the zero in the text expression means false and any other value, any other numeric value means true in JavaScript. So let's test it out. So let's take it x here and check what happens. So you can see, yes, it is true. So if I change the value of x to 0 and execute, you can see there's nothing in the program. So now we know if the condition is true, the above part will execute. What if the condition is false? So nothing is happening. That means whatever the line after this if statement is, it will be executed. You see over here. But this over will always execute regardless of the condition here because it is not any way belonging to this if structure. So what we can do here is like we can use else statement here where we want to execute this statement if the above condition is only false. So in if else statement, any of the block will execute if the condition is true the above block will execute. If the condition is false, the below block will execute. Else if statement in JavaScript is used to test the multiple expressions. So for example, we want to write a program to find the grade of a student depending upon his marks. So let's write a program. So let's say we have a marks of a student. And if marks are greater than 90, his grade is A. Remember that I have not used any keyword against the grade because by default, this grade will be treated as a global variable. So we can access this variable outside the loop. So we have defined a one condition where marks is greater than 90, then his grade is A. And we can define as if, as if his marks is greater than 80, we're going to say grade is B. And so on, you can add multiple conditions. What if any of the above condition does not meet? Then we can use an else block at the end, which will execute if any of the above statement has not executed. So we're going to say grade equals F. We have created a logic. Now let's just print the grid. In the console log, you can specify the two arguments where the first argument specify the name of the log and the second argument specify the value for that log. So in this way, the grid will be printed. Let's test it out. You see grid equals A. So let's just change the marks. You see grade F. Switch statement in JavaScript is kind of similar to else if statement. It is just a better way 
or a better syntax to write when you have a short text expressions based upon the constant inputs. For switch statement, we will reverse the program where we will check the grade of a student and depending upon the grade, we're going to say sentence like you have 90% or more marks or you have 80% of more marks. The switch statement starts with the keyword switch and then we have to write the text expression where we can take the input. So let's just define the input as const grade equals a. We just want to execute the different statement depending upon the grade. So we want the grade to be as a text expression and we can define the different test expression like which block to execute or depending upon its corresponding value. We want to say that case if we have a grade A then we want to execute the line here. So in this line we're going to say you have 90% or higher. So we can write the next text case expression using case if we have a grade B then we'll print a message 80% or higher. But it is important to break this case statement because if we have grade A, this line will execute, but the novel sequential execution of program will carry on and this line will also execute. So to avoid this, we always need to break the case block using break keyword. So when this line will execute, the program will stop here and take the flow of the control outside of this switch statement. So there is a default block. If any of the text case expression does not match, then we can use a default block which will execute for any other text case expression. So let's test it out. So you can see you have 90% of higher. So if I change it to B, you see 80% of higher. And if we put any unknown values, then you will see the default block will execute. But in the default block, we have a typo error. So we're going to fix this one. So you can see this is default. Ternary operator in JavaScript is kind of an alternative to if else statement where we can test the short expression and write the neat and clean syntax in a single line. So let's assume we have a, a variable with a value of 14 and we want to check if a is greater than 14 or not. So although we can write if else statement, but what we can do is we can take a variable is, is true and say it like a greater than 10 and then use a question mark. So this will be our test expression where we can write any valid JavaScript expression. And then if the value is true, this part will execute. So if this part will execute, I want to return it true and using colon to specify the other part. If the condition is true, then this part will execute and we can specify false. So in basic short and syntax, you can just write the text expression what if value true and what if value false. So we just gonna return a boolean value depending upon this text expression. And then if is true, then we're gonna say, yes, you are right. Let's test it out. So you can see, yes, you are right. So if I change the value to nine, you will see nothing because this is true is now being returned a false by this statement. So loop statements are basically used to iterate any given block of a code up to a certain condition. So first we have while loop. So the syntax for while loop is kind of simple where you use while keyword with any text expression while let's define a variable and say while i is less than x execute this block of code so in this block of code we're going to print a simple message saying console.log hi and then increment the value of i by one i plus plus is equivalent to 
i equals i plus 1. So i plus plus is basically a unary operator specifying that increment the i by 1. And let's define the i by 0. So if we execute the code, you see high has executed 10 times. In the console, if the console triggers the same kind of output, it just binds it in a single line saying the number of execution in the front of it. So if we change this console.log to the document.write, this will write high 10 times in the document. So you can see high. In order to write the each high in a separate line, we can use the br tag. So you see your output is here. So the do while statement is kind of similar to while statement. The difference is that in the do while, the loop will at least execute for once because, because in a while loop, before executing the body of the code, the test expression is checked whether it is true or not. And in the do while loop, if you write the syntax do and then change the while to the end and write the expression here, while x is greater than 10 and remove the text expression and execute the code. So you see, high has executed. Even if value for x is equivalent to 10, not greater than 10, because in a do while loop, the text expression is evaluated once the loop is over. The for loop is used when we want to take a variable from its starting value up to a certain value and after the each increment or decrement in a value, we want to perform the certain operation. Let's see the for loop. So the syntax looks like we have for, we have initial value. So we can just define a variable of i with zero and check for the value of i after the each statement whether it satisfies this text expression or not and then increment the value for i. So it looks like initialization block, test expression and increment decrement block. So it is initialize value with the i, execute this block of code and after the execution check if this text expression matches or not and if this text expression matches then increment the variable by one. So let's just simply write console.log i and execute the code. So you see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9 here. So this is usually useful to iterate over through the array. So if we have an array like a equals 1, 2, 1, 1, 3 and we want to iterate over it, we can just simply specify a and this i will now work as an index for this a and now we don't want to loop to the 10 times and we want to loop up to 3 times because in array we have 3 elements so we can just write it to 3 so our loop will go for 0, 1 and 2 and when it will trigger 3 this text expression will become false and this will not execute and each time I will access the index of element. So you see 1 is 2 times so console has combined it in a single line saying it has executed two times and then we have three. For in loop in JavaScript is used to iterate through any iteratable. For example, if we have an array and we have values in the arrays as, so we can write this for loop as for and then initialize a variable which will refer each element of this array. So we can say for x of a, we want to execute this coder block and in this coder block, we can ex access the each element with each iteration as x. So you see each element of the array has been accessed and been printed on the console. For in loop in JavaScript is used to iterate through the properties of any object. For example, we have an object of a user with the keys as name stack and age 15 
value nothing and now we want to iterate through each of the property of this user so we can write a for in loop so we can go like for i'll call it property in user i want to print the property to the console so if you execute the program you see these are the three available values of the user and now if you want to print it corresponding value you can simply do property comma and then specifying user with the value of property so basically user dot that property will be printed so you see name stack age 15 value nothing so these were the control structures available in a javascript i hope you have liked the videos if you have liked please do comment like share and subscribe the channel in this video i have tried to explain the things faster so that you can grab most of the stuff without taking much time so and if you want me to slow down and explain the things in a slow manner please feel free to comment and let me know thank you and see you soon